So here's my big boy. So this is just the squash. Like this is all squash that I've harvested myself. I'm going to be putting them in a bigger bag because I have more squash. Amber cup. And I got a flatten it too. Butternut. Most of all these guys I did myself. Except for the ones that have that in it. So this is, okay. This is summer squash. This is what I got from the store. I'm doing this with one hand, y'all. So check this out. So you see the darkness in it? See the mold spores right there? Let's see if I can't zoom in. Yeah, see the mold? So this is what I got from the store. It was expensive. The seeds are not that great. This is what I harvested. Look at that. Do you see any mold? Because I don't. And another squash. See, the seeds are cracking, but that's never really caused any issues with my plants. Then, uh, I believe I have winter squash. Danish squash. So this is more like the seeds that you saw from the store. Look at that. No mold. None. I'll do it side by side. So, from the store, mine. From the store, mine. Big difference. Amazing, too. I actually got some uh, Big Max pumpkins from the store, and it actually caused me to have a fungus in all my plants. That was a bummer. And then this is a spaghetti squash, which I'm going to be putting more into this, but... Yep. I harvested all this from squash from the store. And I dried them myself. Cleaned them and dried them. Here we have more. More spaghetti squash. This is from my mom's garden. This was just from one, by the way. One spaghetti squash gave me all this. Then I have beans. These are all from the store. I will be doing more. Peas. I'll be doing more once I have my own beans, but I wasn't able to get any harvest any this year. So this is all from the store. That's not too cool. So this was, uh, I like these, the citra quill squash stuff. I, I believe this is actually a melon, but these are really good. And it looks like I have to go in and take the shell off of them. Let's see. Do I have to do that? I'm just trying to do No. Oh, yep. What do you know? They have that shell on it. But I got all of it off. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to have to do that to all these. That's fine. Heart of gold. Another, I believe this is a melon. Then the blue curry squash. Oh. Looks like I gotta get a few of those out of there. That's not good. That might be it. No, that's actually... Okay, so not all of them don't mold. But I'll get that out of there and the rest should be fine. If I leave it in there, I'm pretty sure it'll take over the whole plant and the whole seeds. Which is a bummer, but I'll take care of that one. We have the carnival squash. See, that's just a shell right there. I love taking the shells off. They're fun. And we have the 
Delicacia squash. Such small little seeds. Acorns. I harvested this in 2020. So this is almost two, uh, 2020 to 2021. So year... This winter it'll be two years old. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. I guess we'll find out when I plant it this summer. I think it's a squash, but it's one of those ones that just kind of dried. Then I got my unwashed pepper seeds. This is store bought. I just take my pepper seeds and dry them. It works, actually. You don't have to really worry about washing them too much. Then you have sweet dumpling. Another squash. These are melons. So you have the orange melon. Let's bring it up a little bit. Orange melon. Aren't those cute seeds? You have the Crenshaw. Oh my gosh, the Crenshaw is so good. My husband got me this one. The Christmas melon. I cannot wait to grow this this year. They look a lot alike. And this one is cantaloupe. Cantaloupe has smaller, less oblong shape than the other ones. The other ones are more thicker. And I have my peppers. More peppers. And I have my pumpkins. Yeah, you see the damage on these pumpkins. I think I have my Big Macs in here too. Then I have tomatoes. Um, I'm just going to toss these because I tried this. I tried doing it this way instead of um, you know, letting them rot and getting all the stuff off of it. The problem with doing this, and I tested it, is they cannot get out of the seed. Which is a bummer because they grow. But they can't get out of the seed. So I'll, I'll actually keep it and I'll try it again and see if I can't, like, you know, baby them. Then I have more apple seeds. I don't know what that's doing in here. It should be an exotic. Um corn. So the funny thing about the corn is this. So this is the corn from the store. Corn from the store, you know, not, not bad. This is the corn that I did. Still grows. Still is good, it still grows, still produces. So yeah, just a little bit of a difference. Mine is a little bit more dry. Cause I just took the seeds off and I just let it dry, but it does grow corn. Which is pretty cool. Hey kiddo. Then we got okra. I am currently drying okra right now, trying it a different way. Bought some from the store, seeing if I can't harvest it. Eggplant. Little tiny things. Squash from the store. Yeah. <clears throat> um. <coughs> Go ahead. Tomatoes. Believe it or not, I really don't like the easy sow tomatoes. All my seeds. I have a ton of seeds. These will all turn into um, more more plants. I'm excited about that. Believe it or not, the Dollar Tree brand, I actually have a pepper that's still really good. jack o And then I have rainbow peppers. Rainbow peppers! I call them that. I don't really know the name of them. But they're like a multicolor pepper. Then we have tomatoes. I think. Don't really know what these are. Then more melons. Oh, cucumbers. 
Cucumbers. Gourd. Hey man, did you get some gourd? Big Max. Here we go. So here's the Big Max. This is what I believe gave my other plants fungus. I mean, you would think they don't look that bad, but they they gave my other plants fungal infections. Same with my mom. And then we got watermelon. And we got the blue curry. More peppers. Can't have enough. These were the darker peppers. I switched them out. And then strawberry corn. I want to see if this grows. This was already pre-dried. This was bought during November for Thanksgiving. I want to see if this actually grows. Because you can actually eat strawberry corn. So I'm very, very curious. I just bought some of the corn from the store, you know, the, the corn that they have out that's already dried up. I let it dry up more and then I just peeled off the seeds. Should be interesting. Now I gotta organize all of this. Yeah. Welcome to my plants. Yeah, don't mind the girls' food. And then I have this for organizing even more because it's heavy duty. I'm going to be putting them all in these big containers. Try to flatten them out as much as I can.